of St. Josephine Paquita, and she was born in Sudan in 1869. She was taken uh, and as a slave at age nine, and eventually sold uh, in Italy, and eventually uh, sold to the Italian council who brought her to it Italy, where she was baptized, took the name Josephine. She asked for and was granted her freedom according to Italian law. She joined the Kenosian Daughters of Charity in Venice, led a simple life as a cook, a seamstress, and a doorkeeper. Like her, may we use our freedom and our simple and simple gifts to serve the poor and suffering. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Josephine Bakita from abject slavery to the dignity of being your daughter, and a bride of Christ. Grant, we pray, that by her example, we may show constant love for the Lord Jesus crucified, remaining steadfast in charity, prompt to show compassion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel. And stretching forth his hands toward heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, uttered before you this day. <clears throat> May your eyes watch day, night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you shall be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest, in which she puts her young. Your elders, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually taste and praise you. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. I have, I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God.
and favor me with your law. Alleluia. Pharisees with some scribes who come from Jerusalem to gather around Jesus. They observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, in fact, all Jews do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there were many other things they had traditionally observed. Purification, cups, cups, jugs, kettles, and beds. Now some Pharisees and the scribes question, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites as it is written? This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, worshiping as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commands and cling to human tradition. He went on to say how well you have set aside the command of God but uphold your tradition. Moses said, Honor father and mother, for example, and whoever curses father and mother shall die. But if somebody, you say, if someone says, Honor father and mother, but any support you might have had from me is Korban that's dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father and mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many other such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise Lord. Jesus. It gets down to the end about honor father and mother and then we continue think about and do that in our life the best way we can and also to try to, to live you know, for the Lord and make Lord, what am I doing? Why am I doing what I do? Is it what God would want? What God would intend? Today we have Solomon building his temple and finally, you know, praying to God, you know, be there and then uh, you know, what happens is you know, you know, what we heard yesterday uh, was that the glory of the Lord came in a dark cloud and you know, real evidence of the Lord and um, yes, and so today someone's like, wow, this, could it be that God dwells, you know, in a building, uh, you know, and was the God with the whole universe? And um, you know, we kind of think about that with our holy universe, God made the whole universe could, you know, dwell in this little host and uh, dwell in our hearts. And um, so for ourselves too, then, that becomes, makes us temples of the Lord as well. You are the temple of the Lord. He has chosen you as his dwelling place. He spared no expense to prepare you to receive his presence. He shed his blood, his own blood, to cleanse you from sin. He gave you his Holy Spirit and created a new heart in you. Along with Solomon, you might ask, how could the creator of heaven and earth dwell in a human being? How could he live in me? And yet he does. As you let these truths sink into your heart and mind, let praise rise up in you. Lord our God, who am I that you should live in me? But I am yours. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. heard God's word, responding to so many needs, we offer our prayers to the Lord. For the church, may she continue to grow and flourish under the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Paul.
politicians may the Lord strengthen their resolve in defending human life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord. For the sick, elderly, and homebound, may Christ bring them comfort and companionship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our community of worship, may God continue to strengthen our faith in Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For Mary Josephina and for all the souls of the faithful departed, especially those who are known only to God, may He welcome them into His loving embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For any special petitions you wish to offer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Continue to, pray for, continue to pray for our high school students, and particularly our ninth graders, and also uh, for the, the death of, of Kaylee Hostetler, and for the whole community and uh, the family as we can grieve the loss of that dear girl. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Here, answer our prayer. Keep guiding us in, in your ways and realize that you are in us and our hearts, our mind, our being. You live within us. Hear and answer us and help us be your servants to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, and we come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness that we have received this wine we offer you. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. And As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Saint Josephine Paquita, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call the human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. So with angels and saints, we praise you without end as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. In the name of the Lord, 
indeed holy, holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly was passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember, Mary Jo, your servant, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to our eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by Jesus' teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin and safe from all distress. We wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. We share a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of his divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of St. Josephine Bakita, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. God's blessings upon you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a good day.